in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. If you take a look at verse 3, I'm reading from Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now I will be speaking with us briefly on the topic that says, It is good to have a plan. Look at the year 2023, it's running, it's running, it's not waiting for any man. But do you know that even in this year 2023, as terrible as it is, as glorious as it is, if you think it's terrible, truly it is terrible. But if you think it is glorious, definitely it is glorious. It depends on how you walk towards it, how you make your plans. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. If you take a look at verse 3, the Bible says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. When God said, Let there be light, He should have waited and not do anything again. But what did God do? God discovered darkness was still mingling with the light. And if you take a look at verse 4, the Bible says, And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from darkness. That is planning. God retorted to a level that light and darkness must not be together. There must be a division. Light must go its own separate way, while darkness will go its own separate way. So when the time for light, the light will shine, and the darkness will not be able to work to interfere. And when it is time for darkness, darkness will show its authority, its supremacy, and light will not have anything to do about it. So you too, as a child of God, you need to grow to that level. You need to get to that standard, whereby you plan everything you want the way you want it to be. And now many people will say, I don't have a plan, I don't use to plan. If you don't have a plan and you don't use to plan, the ones that have plan and they are following it, by the time they are seeing results, you will be there begging them, lobbying for what is not necessary. But when you make your plans, take for example, the way the Nigeria economy is going, the way Christianity is going, the way the world is turning upside down, is collapsing. What are the things you have put in places to safeguard your soul from destruction? What are the things you have put in places to ensure your safe journey to the kingdom of God? What are the things you have put in places that come what may happen? No, with this, I will be able to stand at least to some extent. No man can help you. You are the one that can help yourself.